NASA plans a station around the moon and Long March 3B launches. Hey guys, I'm Lucas and welcome to K News for week 15, 2017. China's rocket is set to launch on April 12 at 11.05 UTC from Zichang, which is in the center of south of China. Long March 3B is a mid-sized rocket standing 55 meters tall. It is one of China's older launchers which consists of three stacked together core stages where the bottom two burn a hypergolic fuel similar to its four strap-on boosters. The third stage on the other hand burns hydrogen and oxygen, which is the main reason this rocket can lift with 5 tons almost half of its LEO payload capability to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Speaking of it, the payload is an experimental communication satellite, which is simply referred to as ChinaSat-16. As in most of the cases, it is rather difficult to find out details about Chinese launches, but rockets being rockets, they go up and then to the side, which in this case is not of an ocean. Launching from Zhejiang, the rocket will fly east over populated areas, which are of course evacuated before takeoff. Going through its staging, the rocket separates from its empty fuel tanks until only the one holding the payload is left. As mentioned, it is an experimental satellite and its final position will be a geosynchronous spot over the region around Singapore at 110 degrees east. What makes this satellite special is for one its electric propulsion, which China is testing and a high-speed communication link via laser beam. Yes, China will shoot lasers from space. Now, this will of course not be harmful and the major advantage over a radio antenna, which by the way is also used, is the extremely narrow beam and the higher frequency. Now one would think the easiest way to send a signal via laser was to turn it off and on again to represent a 1 and a 0. 1s and zeros is what digital data is made of. However, a laser takes time to switch on and off, which would limit this form of communication a lot. So instead of turning it on and off completely, it is simply dimmed. That's not all there is to it of course and there are many more tricks to it but the important part to know is it makes no sense to dim light faster than its own frequency and this frequency limits the amount of bits you can send per second. Since light has a higher frequency than radio waves for example, you can naturally send more data using it. However, light also has some downsides because it can't penetrate clouds as good as radio waves for example. This means the best use case for a laser communication link would be between two satellites or a satellite and a spaceship since there are no clouds in space. Once all stages burned out, the satellite will get released and perform a series of burns to get to its final orbital location. Since this is the only launch this week, let me also mention that NASA recently unveiled some more details about their plans to go to Mars. Instead of directly going there, NASA wants to build a space station, which they call a gateway, in lunar orbit. This station will act as the name suggests as a gateway to other planets such as Mars. How this works is basically instead of boosting entire spaceships directly to Mars, like SpaceX plans for example, crew would first fly to the moon inside a smaller capsule like Dragon or Orion. Docked to the gateway would then be a transfer ship which would only operate in space and would therefore be easily reusable. Every time it comes back to the gateway it would then get refueled and serviced for its next mission. However, there are no exact details how such a ship will look like yet, but NASA mentions a partnership between it and private companies. This means companies like Bigelow Aerospace could develop spaceships which NASA would then buy and use on their own cost. This would be a win-win situation I think because it would take away a lot of risk from private companies while at the same time save costs for NASA since they don't have to develop it on its own. However, this is of course speculation and it is yet unknown how exactly all this will look like. I will do a special about it once they release more specific information. Okay, that shall conclude episode 80 and I hope to see you next one if you like. Auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.